Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you new subscribers, newcomers, old subscribers. I appreciate you. Today I'm going to do your weekly reading. This is for April 21st through the 27th. Please remember this is a general reading and timing is flexible and fluid. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Obviously it will be um, your sun sign. If you're a cross watcher, uh, the other signs will apply. Okay, what else do I have for you? The last thing that I have for you, um, if you're new to my channel, I am doing a giveaway um, at the end of the month. And I'm giving away two personal readings. Uh, to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. Details are in the description box. Uh, one winner will be from the collective of all the videos. And then the second winner will be just for one video, which um, there's a link under the details in the description box. If you watch that video, which is the March winners and angel messages, um, you will, or you just have to like and comment and I will pick one winner just from that video. So the odds are better on that video if you wish to enter. So let's get started here. Oh, sorry, that's a no card. <laughs> if yes or no comes out for this reading, that does not apply. All right, there we go. We got that. Oh yeah, right here. Sorry, I have limited space here, so where to put everything? I need a bigger desk. Let's get one more. Let's get one card for Virgo. Thank you, angels. This is going to be a romance angel card. There it is. All right. Okay, and I'm going to pull one Archangel Michael card. I will read this message at the end of the reading. It's the protection angel. So please remember, it is general, so anything goes in the weekly general. And um, it could be love, it could be career, it could be finances, it could be a situation with um, a loved one, whether it's love interest or, you know, someone you have emotional attachment with, okay? Family, friends, etc. All right, so first card we have here is we have the two of Michael. It will all be better if you just make a decision here. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise here. Okay. You know, even though this can be a card of conflict, I just love this card. Okay. With the, the unicorns here. So it's almost like you're at a standstill here with yourself having some inner conflict. Um, there may be some type of decision that you need to make here. Um, but you may just not have enough clarity to make the decision or you're struggling, okay, to even take some action, all right? This can also be um, if you're dealing with someone in your life and this is that person, this can be Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Now, the next card that you have here is There's Something Better, okay? So this is your angel saying there's something better coming in for you, okay? So if you've been worried or, um, you know, feeling like things aren't moving here or there's some type of, de of decision you need to make. I feel here this is an indication that um, in order for that something better to come in, you're going to need to make some sort of decision, okay? This could be about somebody you're dealing with too, all right? Um, but there's definitely something good coming in for you is what I'm seeing here. I always see this card too. This could be about um, commitment or marriage coming in for you, okay? Or just things blossoming for you, okay? Once things start to get, once things start to get moving, okay? You have here the past life relationship, okay? Soulmate card, you've known each other before. So this could have to do with somebody in your life um, that, you know, you're having to make a decision or this person. This could also be somebody new coming in because you have something new, something, there's something better. Okay, I need to spit it out. But there's something better coming in. So this could also be a new person coming in for you if you don't have 
um, a love interest in your life. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Get some tarot. I'm just going to cut the cards I did pre-shuffle beforehand. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo? April 21st through the 27th. Thank you for your guidance. Let's get three cards, please. Three cards. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, definitely your energy, Virgo. Earth energy could be Taurus or Capricorn. But I feel here you've put a lot of time and energy into something or invested in something here. Uh, that could be too why you're having difficulty making a decision here or, you know, your person, whoever you're dealing with. Somebody's trying to make a decision. Okay, you have the temperance card. Okay, it could be Sagittarius energy, um, trying to gain some balance. Okay, trying to control emotions. That could also be the inner conflict, all right, um, or trying to find a compromise. Somebody's trying to find a compromise in the situation here. Okay, let's see here. So I'll leave this one here. Ooh, star card, beautiful. Could be Aquarius energy. We have the page of swords here. Okay. Could be dealing with somebody who could be younger than you, um, somebody who could be a little bit aloof, somebody who may be trying to find out more information about you, like checking you out on social media, all that kind of stuff. Could be stalker energy. I'm not feeling really stalker energy yet. Okay, let's turn this card over here. All right, so Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Star. So beautiful energy here. So you may be going through some healing. There may be a situation where you put a lot of time, a lot of energy, or invested a lot of um, time or even finances, okay? So it may be a time where you're trying to gain some balance, and gain some clarity, um, doing some healing, trying to have some self-control or control emotions here, okay? before you're able to make this decision that you're trying to make. This could be somebody you're dealing with as well. Okay, so let's get three cards here. The first card that came out is the King of Wands. Okay, so somebody here is needing to take some action. This could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This could be this new person coming in. For those of you where I see a new um, love interest is coming in. Okay, somebody is very passion, some passionate, somebody who's very strong as a leader type person, very charming. Let's get two more cards for Virgo, April 21st through the 27th. This could be somebody here, ooh, I was just about to say offering, coming in offering love or commitment here, and look what came out, Ace of Cups, okay, heart of the reading. So yeah, so there is um, some, some love coming in for you, Virgo. Okay, either the universe is pouring out love for you in your situation, or there is somebody coming in here for love for you, Virgo. Okay, wow, look what we have here. Beautiful. King of Wands. Okay, this has to be love here. King of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Queen of Wands. Okay, we have the perfect cu couple here, King and Queen of Wands with Ace of Cups in the middle here, okay? I feel here, there's some decision here somebody's trying to make, and it may be about offering their couple love, whether it's you or this person, okay? We got the star card here. This may be something, too, you've been hoping for, wishing for. This can also be about the stars aligning for you, okay? I think I'm not, um, by no means am I an expert on astrology, but I think we're coming into Aquarius season, but I could be wrong. Let's see here. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, got a lot of passion here. 
And if I didn't say this with the Ace of Cups, we have Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Knight of Wands. Okay. Someone's coming in pretty quickly, pretty passionately. You may have known this person before. This is a soulmate, somebody new who's coming in. Too many cards there. Let's get two more. There we go. Okay. Four of Swords. All right. This could be somebody, too, that you took a break from. Okay, or you, there could be some, I always call it the timeout card. You guys could have taken a timeout from each other. And then we have Knight of Swords. Okay. Give me just one, a moment. I want to just look at this energy here. Oh, look what we have here. Scorpio energy here, bottom of the deck. Could also be... Um, there's a transformation happening here. There's some type of change. Okay, there could have been an ending if this is somebody from your past that you're dealing with, if this is love. Could be a new beginning coming in for you. If this is um, not a new person, this just could be, um, you know, transformation of something that ended in the past and now there's something better coming in for you. All right, now, and that could be the same case if this is not love for you. Okay, so give me a moment here. Okay. So, I'm getting here for some of you, if you went through a past breakup, okay, I feel like you did a lot of healing, okay, with the star card and the temperance card here. Okay, you worked on yourself. Okay, I feel like too you invested in yourself here with the Seven of Pentacles. And I feel like this is an indication, and you took some time out to yourself, I should say too, here with the Four of Swords. If this is your, if that's your story, I feel that you have a new soulmate coming in. Okay, and that person's coming in pretty quickly here with the, um, with the Knight of Wands. If your story is that you have somebody from your past, okay, past life relationship here, past soulmate. I feel like you may have taken a break from this person. This person may have been inconsistent in the past. I could have been a player. They could have been in and out of your life here. They were this night, but I feel now they're going to come back around and they're going to offer, they're coming in as a king this time and they're going to offer their cup of love here. They're going to bring more balance to the situation, okay? And that could be here, either their decision, they're the ones who are trying to make this decision or it's your decision here, okay? So let's get some clarity cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Um, please give us some clarity for Virgo, April 21st through the 27th. For the cards on the table, please give us some clarity. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. This, uh, this person could be air energy too, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I think we pretty much have all. The, actually, we don't have earth energy on the board, except for the first card, which I felt is your energy, but... Other than that, there's no other earth energy. Oh no, there is seven of pentacles. Look, <laughs> lover's card. Lovers, lovers, choices, choices. Could be Gemini energy. Okay, let's get nine of wands. Okay, somebody may feel like they wanna give up on the situation. Here we got some Earth Energy, Queen of Pentacles. Got one more card. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Communication coming in, definitely. Somebody's coming in towards you. Then we have here the full card. Look at this. We have transforma Transformation, Renewal, the full card. Someone wants to take a risk, a leap of faith here, a new beginning, a new start. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so give me a moment here. 
Yeah, so I feel here with the lover's card, I feel like this could be somebody that you um, definitely were involved with in the past, okay? And you were at a point where you wanted to give up on this situation. You felt like you invested a lot of time in this person. This person may have been in and out of your life. Uh, you know, definitely possibility that this person, um, you know, with the lover's card could have had, you know, been dealing with another lover as well. Um, but I feel like you got to a point where you just, you, you took the time and invested in yourself, did some healing, tried to gain some balance here. Some of you may have even become single here with the Queen of Pentacles. And now that you're in a good place, you've taken a break and look, here it comes. Okay, so this could either be somebody new coming in for you or this could be some, somebody from your past, okay? Um, but they're saying here there's something better coming for you, so that's great news. All right, now if this is not love for you, I feel like this is love because, um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of passion, I'm seeing a lot of communication, um, an offer here, okay, yeah. For the most part, I'm going to say this is going to be about love. If this is not about love, this could also be to you about you healing over past love and, um, you know, taking a new start here. Look at we have below this. We have six of cups, nine of cups here. Wish fulfillment, okay? This could also be your own wish fulfillment. And then look here, you have the, oh my God, it just keeps getting better. The Hierophant, ten of cups. So beautiful energy there. Yeah, I feel like definitely spirit and the angels are right on here. Something definitely is better coming in for you. All right. Okay, so let's move on to your um, Archangel Michael message. Now, this message can be about anything. does not have to just be about love. can be any situation going on in your life. Okay, so you have here, detach from the situation. You've become embroiled in a situation to the point where you can't see it objectively. This card indicates that it's time to step back and obtain a bigger view of the picture. Archangel Michael asks you to detach from the surrounding emotions and he'll help you do so. Michael will also guide you in depersonalizing the experience so you don't take offense at others' behavior. This will prevent you from reacting defensively Instead, your actions will stem from love and wisdom. Give yourself permission to take t a time out away from the people involved. You don't need to know the solution right now as the angels are taking care of the details. What's important for you is to access a sense of inner peace, a feeling that will lead to new and helpful insights. So possible specific meanings, don't take on other people's arguments, let them work out things for themselves. Be compassionate without carrying someone else's burden. Ask Archangel Michael to clear your energy. It's time to leave an unhealthy situation or relationship. Now the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. Okay, Virgo, very nice message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you'd like to enter for the giveaways, subscribe, like, comment, I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.